Also, since we have been on the air tonight, somebody who you will know by name, Tom Hanks, Academy Award winning actor Tom Hanks and his wife, the actress Rita Wilson, have announced that they have both tested positive for coronavirus. Uh, Tom Hanks announcing it tonight in a tweet saying the couple uh, who are they're in Australia right now, they began to feel tired, like they had colds with some body aches, slight fever. Uh, Rita Wilson apparently additionally had some chills. Quote, Rita had some chills that came and went. Quote, to play things right, as is needed in the world right now, we were tested for the coronavirus and were found to be positive. Well, now, what to do next? The medical officials have protocols that must be followed. We Hankses will be tested, observed, and isolated for as long as public health and safety requires. Not much more to it than a one-day-at-a-time approach. No, we will keep the world posted. Tom Hanks and Rita Wilson were in Australia because Mr. Hanks is about to start production on a new film there. Uh, tonight, Warner Brothers, who is making that film, released a statement about it, saying, quote, the health and safety of our company members is always our top priority. We are taking precautions to protect everyone who works on our productions around the world. Very well. And he has been really prolific on social media for a very long time. And to see this post from him and the transparency that he is showing, I think on one hand is reassuring to a lot of people, but on another hand, it's also alarming because you think this now becomes very real. This can happen. You know, we spent the day here at the News Center uh, in Tampa with a number of medical professionals and clinicians who came here to do a special phone bank, answer the questions that residents, concerned residents had. And this speaks to the fears that people, we heard in this phone bank today. People want to know, can I really get it? How worried should I be? What are the symptoms I should look for? And Tom Hanks kind of speaks to some of those things. Listen, Rita, his wife, she just didn't feel very good. They had body aches. They thought maybe they were coming down with a little bug or something. Those were a lot of the questions that we heard from Tampa and Central Florida residents today. And the reassurances being offered from medical professionals continue to be consistent. The, you know, advice that they give you about washing your hands 20 seconds at a time using soap, soap and water, using the hand sanitizers, wiping down surfaces with those disinfectant wipes, sort of a kind of um, social distancing, they call it, where you give a little bit of space between yourself and the person next to you, and being sort of vigilant about things we should already be doing, but maybe we need to think about long and hard now. The interesting thing about this virus that seems to be really getting the attention of the nation is just how quick quickly it spreads and the uncertainty about how long do these droplets if somebody's sick and they get something on a surface how long do these droplets stay viable we have read that it could be up to two days these health professionals are simply saying take every measurable precaution you can to stay safe but i'll tell you tom hanks and rita wilson as they chronicle their process of this i think will be real um real people to watch to see how they're doing. And certainly you're already seeing on social media people really rooting for them. You know, just a little side note to that. Uh, you know, we keep hearing that this coronavirus affects the elderly more. The president touched on that again tonight. Uh, Governor Ron DeSantis earlier today talking about the nursing homes, uh, the restrictions and, and who should be allowed into someone's nursing home or assisted facility or anywhere uh, where elderly folks are. Uh, I'm, by no means is Tom Hanks and his wife elderly, but they are 63. They're falling in that range to where, you know, post 60, that seems to be the the the. The focus of this virus, it seems uh, fewer young people, if any, are, are really coming down with this, uh, very few. And uh, we had a gentleman in uh, Pasco County, I think he was 46, 46 so he, years old. he's kind of outsized an outlier on the numbers there. But again, I, I think if, you, if you're if you concerned about this, uh, Jen, Jen you, you pointed out right, you know, you have to protect yourself, take precautions, uh, wash your hands, uh, cover your face you know, cough into your sleeve, don't sneeze, and and just uh, limit your activity in, in large crowds. But that is so hard to do because we're Very used to uh, entertaining. When you go to the movies, right? you go to a restaurant, you got to fly somewhere, you're going to be around people. And I, I just think it's, it's just a disruption in our lives, uh, not only personally, but financially for those uh, we're, we're spending money to. They're not going to get those dollars. We're out running around. We're not and gonna be some of the medical professionals I talked to today made a very good point. You may think I'm not in a high risk group. One of the emergency room physicians I spoke to said, listen, I'm in my 30s. I'm not in a risk group that's going to be hard hit by this likely. Mm -hmm. But the fact of the matter is we restrict some of this coming and going and we try to distance ourselves and take all of these precautions because spreading the illness and then having it reach those higher risk 
populations not only puts those people at risk, but it also puts the system under extreme duress. Yeah, and I think that, that was one of the concerns about how many hospitals, be, you know, if everybody goes at the hospital at once. Address, yes. And then the final major story that is breaking tonight, as if those two stories weren't enough for what's going on globally here regarding the coronavirus pandemic, the NBA suspending its season after player big, I mean, this is a guy, this is a guy well known throughout the league, all-star big man Rudy Gobert of the Utah Jazz. The NBA deciding to suspend its season. I'll read the statement here. The NBA suspending gameplay following the conclusion of tonight's schedule of games until further notice. The NBA will use this hiatus to determine next steps for moving forward in regard to the coronavirus pandemic. Keith, Jen, this is in addition to news that the NCAA is going to be playing March Madness. The men's and women's tournaments are going to be played without fans in the stands. It's really just going to be, you know, close friends and family members and those associated closely with each individual but you know, school But you playing. know the games are being played right now all over the country. I mean, play, things are happening. I mean, mm -hmm. you want to go right. watch a lightning game? It's right, right down here. But you know what? There, you have to think twice now about... Whether you want to put yourself in that but situation. But for a major professional sports organization like the NBA to, just to suspend, suspend operations. games is, is oh. enormous Incredible. and really no goes to show it. where we are um, today. Yeah. So and what comes news. next? I mean, we're looking at the Olympics down the road. Yeah. I mean, I know it's down the road, but it's closer than you think as we here, continue. Right. To here in the Tampa Bay area, yeah. we have WrestleMania. That is the Super Bowl yeah. of professional wrestling. People come from all over the world to congregate and celebrate for their love of wrestling for the WWE. Is that uh, in danger here in the Tampa Bay area? Will there be scrutiny and pressure on WWE leadership to cancel uh, WrestleMania here in Tampa Bay? There's so many events that we can point and to so over far, the next Disney, few months. I mean, look at Disney, Busch Gardens. You look at all of these theme parks. I mean, we talked about these the other day. You say, well, you don't need to travel, go internationally. Have you been to Disney? Yes, I went it's to Disney a, this past Saturday. It's and international. It was, it was packed. It was a very international crowd, yeah. And you do, They're you right find there. yourself yeah. thinking twice that, you know, all of these people, it's so almost impossible to make an accounting yeah. of where all of these people have been and the people they've been in contact with where they've been. And so this is just a, a, a situation of epic scale.